hi you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel as you guys can see by the title today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make an easy text-based logo that you can use for your business the two apps that i'm going to be using today is pixar and fonto you can get both of those for free in the app store I'm going to start off with using PixArt and I'm just using that to get the transparent background that I'm going to show you guys. You will have to deal with some ads to be able to use the service, but it is free. But yeah, once you're in the app, just click the plus sign and scroll all the way down to where you see that little transparent square shaped picture thingy that you guys saw me click at the bottom um, and save it to your photos so you can use it in Fonto. So just go ahead and click Fonto. Once you're in there, click on the little camera sign and click photo albums and then select the picture that you just saved from Pixar. All right, so it should look like this. Are you following me? Okay, good. Now tap the screen and click add text and type in your business name or whatever you want this specific logo to say, type that in. So my business is Shelly's Daughter Beauty, so that's what I'm typing in. I'm typing in Shelly's Daughter first because I'm gonna use a different font for um, the beauty part. And I'll show you guys that in just a second. Now I'm just changing the color to black to make it easier to see while I'm editing it. I'm gonna move it over and kind of sort of center it and go through the font. I actually didn't end up using any of the preset fonts that they have on Fonto because I had made a logo previously and I completely forgot to record it. I don't know how I did that, but the screen recording wasn't on when I made the first logo. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys how to actually download like more customizable fonts if you guys don't like the presets because that's what I did when I made my original logo. Um, I didn't use the presets that they had. I'm not gonna waste your time showing you guys how long it took me to scroll through the fonts. I'm just gonna skip to the part where I go to defont.com and show you guys how to actually download the fonts. All right, so when you get to defont.com, um, you can just scroll through the options that they have, or if there's a specific type of writing that you're looking for, you can type it in on the search bar. I was looking for some sort of variation of cursive writing, so that's what I typed in, and I searched through those, and I actually didn't even end up using any of the cursive options either, but um, I'll show you guys the one that I ended up using. It was called Amsterdam, but I wanna show you guys how to actually download the fonts once you do pick one that you like. So. Yeah, so go ahead and click the one that you want to use and click on download and then download it. And then I had forgot how to install the fonts, so I ended up going back to uh, Fonto to remind myself how to download the fonts. That's what I'm showing you guys here. So yeah, go back to thefont.com and download, or wherever you were, download the file that you just downloaded. Um, and it's going to take you to your files and click on the option of the one that you chose. This is me just going back because I literally had forgot how to do it. And you click on share. And when you click on share, it's gonna have a little option that pops up for you to click on Fonto. So you share it to Fonto and it's gonna tell you that you installed it correctly. And then um, whenever you click on fonts and you go to my fonts, the font that you just downloaded is gonna pop up there. So I did like the actual cursive writing of this one, but for some reason, you see the apostrophe in the Shelley's looks big and bulky and I did not like that. So I went on another hunt for an actual font that I did like, it wasn't that. I'm gonna show you guys that when it was called Amsterdam and I'm gonna just skip to that part. So yeah, this little font is super cute to me. I feel like this font is pretty popular though because I've seen a lot of businesses use it for their um, product logos, but yeah. So for beauty, I'm going to change the font for beauty. And I wanted it to be similar to how my original logo was. Um, just to kind of give you guys a little variation of how you can make a similar logo. Still be creative. Don't just pick and choose exactly what I did. But yeah, I put beauty in caps because I felt like that looked more similar to how I have my original logo. It gives it a little bit more razzle dazzle. And I didn't like the first font, so I ended up choosing this one. And I just had to adjust the placement to where I wanted it to be. You see me, you see me, it's cute. Shelly's Daughter Beauty. So that's the way that I ended up doing the logo. So once you're done, go ahead and save that logo. And I changed it to white as well, so I can have a white logo version or a white transparent version of my logo a black transparent version of my logo and a pink transparent version of my logo so i can have the versatility to use that logo on different things in different colors still within my brand color schemes 
Um, this wasn't the exact shade of pink that I had for my business because it was like a customized color that I did. But this is just a way that you can do something similar and get creative with it. And I was just showing you guys a little dual tone one. So now to make sure that you did the logo correctly, go to your photos where all the saved um, images that you just created are. Oh, that's the original logo that I made, you guys, the first one that I just showed you. But yeah, so that's just me checking and tapping the screen to make sure that everything is completely transparent. So whenever I decide to use this logo, I won't have any issues with having to erase the background. It's just a perfect transparent logo ready to, for you to use on labels and things like that. So to take it a little bit step further, I wanted to show you guys how to make a quick little lip gloss label just in case you guys are buying your lip glosses wholesale or um, you just need a temporary sticker logo situation for your products. This is a very easy way to make one as well. So go ahead and grab that logo that you just made. I'm going to use the black one because I'm just going to do a basic black all text based little uh, label sticker. I'm going to show you guys how to make it and order it. Then go ahead and tap on the screen and whatever you want your sticker label to say, go ahead and type that in. So for this one, I'm just putting lip gloss, but you can put hydrating lip gloss, whatever you want to put on it. High shine lip gloss you know, whatever you want it to say, whatever describes your product properly. That's what you want this little logo to say. Then just adjust the placement, the size to whatever you want it to be. And just for reference, I'm going to say I'm making a 10 ml lip gloss tube. So I'm putting the size 10 ml and turning it to a 90 degree angle and placing that basically centered of where I want it to be for my little sticker logo. And yeah, Super, super simple way to make a transparent logo label. And then you're going to go ahead and save that as a PNG as well. And it will save it as a transparent logo. So that's perfect for putting on lip gloss tubes. All right, next I'm going to show you guys how to actually order your sticker logo labels. And I use Avery.com whenever I was still running my business. That was one of my go-to places to buy labels from. You guys are super affordable and they have tons of different options. But for this one specifically, you're going to choose a rectangle shape or at least for this logo that I'm making. I'm choosing a rectangular shape going down to sheet design and I'm clicking the horizontal rectangular shape option. Then click on create design and choose it from the camera roll, the exact logo label that I just downloaded. And then you make the size bigger to fit the actual label itself. And to me, that looked about good. I probably could have made it a little bit bigger, but I left it at that size there. And then I just proofreaded it to make sure that everything was in the right placement that I wanted it to be in. And... I did go ahead and save this design. To be able to save your designs, um, you do have to create an account with them, but that's free. And then go ahead and proofread your PDF as well. Once you're done doing that, um, you basically just go down to the checkout section on avery.com. Once you check out, the shipping is usually pretty quick, but that's what your actual label is going to look like. And then make sure that you click the clear film option. It will cost you a couple dollars extra, but that's what's going to give you that seamless appearance on your lip gloss tube. If that's the look you're going for. I like a clean, a seamless look. So yeah, um, that's what the label is going to look like. It's 38 or 38, 48 labels for $15, of course, plus tax. And then you pay for shipping as well, but it's super, super affordable. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. This is me just showing you guys all the labels again. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. I hope this was super, super helpful. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.